Good morning guys, it is super early on a Saturday morning, uh, just before 7 a.m. Now usually if I was up at this time, I'd be going to a Cars and Coffee. Not today, I don't have a super cool car to bring there to an event like that. However, I will be taking a quick road trip up to Long Island, New York. It's about 275 miles from DC here to take delivery of a very special vehicle for a member of the Red Line team. So come along for the ride because I'm gonna be documenting the whole thing from start to finish. So we're on our way to go pick up the Type R up in New York, and luckily Chevrolet was kind enough to loan me a 2017 Chevrolet Silverado LTZ, um, and it's honestly the perfect truck. Um, but if you guys can remember the, the 2014 Accord Coupe with the V6 and manual that I filmed like three years ago, that actually belonged to um, my friend Rob, who's also my business partner, who also helps out all the time with Redline. So when the lease was up on his Accord, he's been trying to find a Type R, uh, and Luckily, this uh, dealership up in New York was kind enough to help Rob out with finding the Type R of his dreams. Um, but if you want to pan over to yourself, Rob, you can kind of say hello and introduce yourself. Hello, I'm Rob. Some of you have seen me as the dancing half to pee cameraman that uh, decided to make a video once a while ago. And me and Sophie decided that I should never do that again, and I'm sure you all are very happy about that. So like you said, uh, I do a lot of support for Sophie on, travel with him on all the trips, do a lot of camera work. Uh, some editing here and there, um, but I'm his right-hand man, so we make sure this stuff works for you guys. But I guess you guys get to see me again for a little bit since this is going to be my car. Um, I am very excited, as you can see. I'm not excited to get up at 5.30 on a Saturday morning, but I guess it's worth it. So, what do you think? Is so, it worth it? Yeah, I think it's worth it. But I mean, honestly, right now, the most exciting part about this trip is the fact that I'm actually towing something with this truck. We've got a car trailer, uh, a flatbed trailer from U-Haul that we rented. Um, towing with this Silverado and this thing tows like 11,700 pounds So we're not even going to be getting to like 50% with the Type R because it's so light as you guys know Very um, light. But this is my first time actually towing a car. Shut up, you guys. Um, Sorry. Sorry. <laughs> this is my first time actually towing something. I have to say the Silverado makes it really easy It honestly doesn't feel like there's anything back there except for the fact that the trailer is like slightly wider than the truck So you kind of have to be mindful of staying in your lane because the truck may be in the lane But then I kind of noticed that the trailer is kind of a little closer to the white line So one thing I really appreciate is people tend to get out of your way when you're towing They just don't want to be near you so they, they leave this big nice space so that'll be nice It'll be a challenge going up to New York City uh, with this thing with a Type R on the back for sure but we'll check in later on and you guys are going to see pretty much all the entire off the cuff like raw reactions of Rob when he first sees the car because he, has, he hasn't had a chance to actually drive a Type R yet. He wasn't with me on the Montreal trip when I drove it and filmed it. Um, so it's going to be exciting to see what he thinks. He literally bought a car without driving. I think that's the first time you've ever done that. They're right after one that's mile correct. on July 5th. Well, my, my Accord, I had, I had driven the V6. I hadn't driven the 6 speed. Manual. I, I, yeah, I knew it would be good. Okay. But <laughs> broken down Kia. <laughs> You're terrible, but, but yeah, we'll check out. We'll check in with you guys later on uh, as we you know make our way up. We literally just left DC. We have like about a four and a half hour uh, drive up, and hopefully there'll be no traffic. But it is like eight in the morning, so it's still pretty early. So Rob and I made it to our first rest stop. Uh, we're about 110 miles outside of New York City uh, where the dealership is. And the truck honestly has been pretty awesome. This thing is super easy to tow, although I don't actually have a car on the trailer just yet. As you can see, Rob is kind of just checking everything, making sure all the connections are still good. He's also trying out the ramps for the first time. So um, he's basically gonna be one of those people that doesn't want to put the mileage on his car driving it back to DC and we also have a special thing to cover up the truck the type R with um, with like bubble wrap so it's not gonna get hit with stuff because as you guys know it's an open trailer it's gonna get hit with rocks you know from time to time but um, so far the truck's been awesome this is seriously a really easy uh, thing to pull with 
or pull the trailer with, this thing tows like 11,000 pounds. So it's been a it's been a pretty comfortable, fun trip. We're looking forward to getting to to the dealership to pick up the Type R in about uh, an hour and a half. Is there anything you want to say, Rob? What? Is there anything you want to say? Yeah, let's go. <laughs> Coming up on New York City. The roads here are so bouncy and terrible. You getting excited, Rob? Concentrating on keeping this thing Please in the lines. I guess there is a trailer that we're tugging behind us. No Type R on the back yet, though, but he's going to be driving like an old man when we do have the car on the back. Traffic's been pretty light, at least. A couple I don't of, haven't hit really much at all. A couple of slow spots, but I guess Air that's a good thing about leaving on a Saturday morning early. Not early enough. And the truck's been averaging about 18 miles per they gallon. After one mile on to I towing this thing, so it'll be curious to see what it gets when the uh, Type R's on the back. Hello. So this is why you shouldn't drive a truck with a trailer on the back through New York City. Uh, Narrow lanes. Uh, this is good. Peace, yeah. we hate you, but we love you. Yeah, so we're picking up our other camera guy, Peace, at the AutoZone parking lot here. Luckily, it's just right off 95, but this is kind of scary, so we're gonna turn into this parking lot here, which is relatively big, just big we turn- New York City. We turn place. wide, so we don't wanna, yeah. This is not a big parking lot, Peace. What are you doing? <laughs> this is a tiny parking lot. Let me call him, hold on. This is the worst decision. <laughs> what the hell? <laughs> Uh, Where is he? There's literally nowhere I can go. Hey, right. Tokyo. Where are you? We're here. <laughs> it's really crowded as hey, This is This is a terrible decision. We're please. here and it, it's crowded as Where Where are you? <laughs> Hello? Can you hear me? Peace. Yeah, what's going on? We're outside. Where are you? Okay, we're coming. Okay, all right. Bye. Bye. I'm not to turn around with this. Are you kidding me? You're just going to have to turn around, I guess. We'll try, I guess. All right, good. No. What is the Odyssey doing? Odyssey, what are you doing? He's probably waiting for that guy to get out. He's not leaving. Just keep going. Come on, you've got an extra, like, 100 horsepower on all the badges you have on that car. Just use it to get out of here. Oh, good. You're backing up. All right. Hey, he's got nice uh, LED reverse lights. <laughs> With a nice wing badge on his Honda. Oh. I just commented on that. Thank you. Sorry, yes. I missed it. Okay, let's see how this goes. Don't hit the trailer, please. You might need to get out. Where is Peace? Because I don't know. Can, I, can you get out and see if I'm going to hit that car, please? You have sensors in the front. You sure? Yeah, you have parking sensors in the front. You could probably pull forward a little more. I'm not going to make this. No, you're going to have to back up, probably. Like, ask Peace to help you. This is a terrible decision. Open your window this and ask is... Peace to help you. Sorry, we this was a that when we came in. terrible decision. Can you help? Yeah. Can you help? Because Rob, I don't think he's going to make this turn. Like, we have to back up. Okay. Well, I can't do anything right now because oh. they're a train wreck over here. Ow. Yeah, literally, like, you came right when the people rushed in. So Why? It's so stupid. It was empty when we came in. It's so stupid. Well, actually, you're going to be fine. You're going to make this one. Uh, well, look forward though. I don't know if I can make this turn with that cab so far out. This is a train wreck. Are you kidding me? <laughs> this is a train wreck. Welcome to New York City, which is why I hate the city. Like, I love the city, your, but I just hate the traffic. You guys want to put your bag, bags in the car? Or? You need to go to the other side. There's stuff in this. Alright, well, let me pull up a little bit more. Let's see, because I don't know if I'm going to make this. Yeah, it's the front that's the problem.
Fine, go. You're fine in the front. You'll make it. Just, I'm watching the trailer. Can I go straight? Can I go straight? So, the trailer might hit the curb right there. It's very close. Yeah, yeah. You bought the trailer or it's rented? No, sorry? It's rented, the trailer? It's rented. Don't worry about it. Don't I figure, yeah, I just don't want to hit anything else out here. Thank you. Am I good up there? All right, we're approaching the Honda dealer. I can see it up ahead. How excited are you, Rob? I'm not there yet. You're very excited. You can hear his anticipation. I am excited. All this dust needs to clear away before I pull my car out. <laughs> it's been quite an ordeal trying to get here. The, uh, yeah. uh, the traffic's been maddening. It took us probably like a little, like six hours to get here. I blame my navigator. It's not my fault that Waze got us lost. Mm -hmm. There's also a lot of traffic in New York City. I don't like New York City traffic. It's also just New York City. Oh look, there's the dealership right up ahead there. Oh, oh, damn it. Damn it, Rob. Okay, come on. Well, make a U-turn, I guess. Can I make a U-turn? What is that? That's not it. Okay, that's a sport hatchback. I saw black, I saw black. Can I just turn around here? No, you can't. It's a one. No, you're not into it. Damn it, Rob, we should have went on that back street over there. Oh, where that Acadia is right there. Yeah, yeah. Make a U-turn there. All right, we're walking up to the dealership now. How excited are you, Rob? We've got like a five miles before we get to the how, dealership. How excited are you, Rob? I'm excited. He hasn't seen the car yet, but Very I imagine excited. when he does see the car, he's gonna freak out. So I'm gonna try my best to get this reaction from him. Here's the dealership. It's been a long four, or it's been a long six hour drive to this freaking dealership. I know, that's why he told us not to come in here. Oh, oh really? Really? I got that on camera. You suck. Good. Hi. I'm Phil. Nice to meet you, Phil. So fun. Problem on. How are you, sir? Are you excited? Oh yes. He's very excited. How are you? I'm Jane. Hi. Good. How are you? Uh, Peace. We're about two with Red Line. He does some camera work also, and Jane's girlfriend. So. Okay. Tagging along there in New York City, yeah. so. Picked a nice day and an exciting time to come for a ride. <laughs> Most definitely. It's been it's been a rather ordeal getting here with the traffic. Yes. Is it usually this fast? Yes. Okay. That's, I feel for you. That sucks. <laughs> That's terrible. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Unless you try coming through at like 3 in the morning, mm -hmm. this is every day. Okay. <laughs> Heading down to go see Rob's Type R for the first time. Getting excited, bud. <laughs> oh, wait, wait. Oh, I see it over there. <laughs> oh yes, there it is. That's awesome. This is my first time seeing a black one in person. It does look really nice in person in black. Well, they had every they had every color but black, and the reason they said that black didn't photograph well. They said. Well, you're gonna lose all the curves and everything in the black. And I was just like, but the black looks so mean. How yeah. could you not have the black in here this time? But the polished metal looked good also too. Uh, you know what I'm gonna tell you what? Uh, I was disappointed that they didn't have the silver. Mm -hmm. When I saw this car in, in polished metal, that is unbelievable. Mm -hmm. But it looks amazing. I was black. just telling him that the polished metal really is thrown on the suit. Right now, I have I have it, but yeah. I, honestly, I'll the one I would have been. Yes, Rob, how happy are you? Tell us. Uh, I'm pretty happy right now. It's so much louder than the SI when you started out.
What's that? <laughs> that was his attempt at a joke. No. He knows there's no sunroof. Yes, sure. He's very sad about that, but I was like, I'm not that sad about it. I'm not that sad about it. You know, if you'd asked me two, two or three years ago when I had my SI, I never really thought that this would be a possibility. I'd say that'd be on the line of things it would be a possibility, but no, no. You're still recording this, really? <laughs> well, after having two S2000s, I could, I could tell you. Both AP1s or AP2s? Both AP1s. Oh, okay, good. Very good. Yep. The moment is finally here. Rob is taking delivery of his 2017 Honda Civic Type R. And I want to thank the folks here at um, North Shore Honda in Glenhead, New York, just outside of the city. Um, as you can see here, Rob is standing with his uh, sales manager, Phil. Uh, they're going to do the traditional key handoff where Rob actually takes delivery. Thank um, you, sir. Congratulations from all of us at North Shore Honda. Enjoy your Type R. I most definitely will. I appreciate everything you've done. You're a great guy. Happy appreciate to help. it. Appreciate it so much. Yeah, so some of you probably are wondering what he actually paid for the car. Unfortunately, I'm not allowed to talk about the dealership. The dealership asked us not to mention that. But I will say they had it listed for about 47.5. As you guys know, Type R's have been going around five to 15,000 over sticker, which is why we actually had to travel up here to New York to get the car. I will tell you that they were happily able to work with us to get him a pretty fair price for the car. And Rob's happy, the dealership is happy. Uh, so if you guys are in this area, make sure you come out to North Star Honda for all your Honda needs. All right, Rob is finally driving his Type R for the first time. What do you think? It feels amazing. Look at that big smile you have on your face. I do. The shifter is absolutely amazing. I won't comment on the power because I'm not going to know until a Yeah, so the car, the car only has like 15 miles on it, and Rob, he's not going to push it. He's not going to hit VTEC, which honestly, ooh, you don't really hit VTEC in this car because it's turbocharged. It has a lot of torque, which he'll feel it eventually. It yes, it does have VTEC, but he loves the shifter. And I'm sure he's going to notice the steering in the car how fast it is. We already noticed that it has a very crappy turning radius because <laughs> the lock to lock is literally like less than two turns. So oh crap! You know, <laughs> I just I just flipped the throttle to downshift and I forgot. Wait, well, is it turned on right now? Yeah, it is. Watch. Okay, see there. First time experiencing automatic rev matching in a Honda, Rob. There we yeah. go. But I'm I'm glad that uh, he, I can tell he's very much trying to contain his excitement. Oh, we're gonna make this turn here. Maybe we'll see no, if he, no. he decides no, no, to go no. a little fast. Maybe no. just a little. Maybe go to four grand. It's okay. <laughs> the, 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 Honda tells us that it's already broken in from the factory, Rob. It's okay. Just go a little bit faster. Lane. Oh, there we go. Oh, you hear that turbo <laughs> whistle right there? Oh, I heard it. Yeah, I missed that noise. It's yes. been a while since I drove the Type R. Been a little bit of time, but absolutely. You can tell, guys, he's he's ecstatic, and Rob's not the kind of guy that shows emotion, so I'm pretty happy for him. I think this is a car that he's going to be thrilled with for many, many years to come. I'm very happy. One's really sticky. All right, so now we are going to attempt to load Rob's Type R onto the trailer. Hopefully, nothing happens because he did not want to drive it. Instead, we had that fantastic truck from Chevy which tows 12,000 pounds, and we're not even gonna reach 50% of the truck's towing capability, so this should be fun. God, this car looks sick and black. This is the one color I didn't see at the media drive because Honda said it didn't show the lines very well, and I have to admit the black looks pretty sick. Shows off the red accents really well. What's up?
The only thing that I'm worried about are the front stops and the front. But we measured it. Those are just under six inches. This is six and a half. All right, well. Yes. What? Go, go a little bit. There you go. Okay, now come up. Wait, does he need to go to the right a little bit? Yeah, come this. Go right a little. No, this way. Okay, straight. Straight, straight, pump straight. What? Oh. No, you're fine. This way more. Okay. It's very close. Oh, wait, wait. Rob, it's gonna scrape the ramp. If you go any further, it's gonna scrape the ramp. Like right here, it'll scrape the ramp right here. Cause the tire hasn't hit, hasn't hit yet. You come out, you put the brake on and come look. How close are the wheels to the ramp right now? They have like another couple inches, and if you go any further, I'm, I'm afraid it may scrape the ramp. I mean, Peace, what do you think? You think it's gonna scrape the ramp? Like right there, I'm, I'm looking at it, it looks like it's gonna scrape the ramp. Turn this way a little bit. Okay, I'll come a little forward. No, it's it's hitting it. It's You're touching, it's You're touching it now. Back up a little. Yeah. I don't know, man. It's up to you. You're gonna you're gonna scrape it a little bit. Try to get on the ramp. Yeah, the cardboard's there. Take it slow. The cardboard's there. Just take it slow. How many more inches? He's uh, he's basically at the ramp. You're at You're the ramp. At the ramp. Just come. Slowly. Yes. Now straight forward. Straight forward. Hold on. Huh? You're on perfectly. Just come. Oh, a little less revs. Hold on. Straight ahead. Back up more piece. You're good, you're good. Hey, is the parking brake on in the truck? Did you put it on? No, hold on, let me hold on one second. Yeah, it's on. Literally just come straight. Wait, hold on, hold on, hold on. Fix this. Yeah, because he's got to run over it and then come straight up here. Yep, yep, straight, come straight. Straight. Slow, slow, very slow. Come very slow. You're on. A little bit more, a little bit more. Stop, 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 stop. No, he's gotta go a little bit more forward. No, no, I'm talking about this. Oh. 
Okay, come forward. Come forward. Yep. Just a little bit. Just You're going to clear it. It's fine. Oh, oh. Come a little bit further. A little bit more. Yep, it's fine. That's it. That's it right there. It has to rest. The front tires have to rest up against Come a little further then, like an inch, like less than an inch. There we go. That's that's it. Stop. Yes. We're good. You're resting on it now. Thank you guys. Brake is on, car is off. Close the windows in a second. Sweet mother of God. Thank you, thank you. <laughs> <laughs> that was an ordeal. But I'm it's, having a heart attack. I'm it's, literally it's, having a heart it's attack. It's on the ramp. It's yeah, on the it's on the flat bed. This is a cardboard save you. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> All right, let's wrap her down. All right, well here, let's wrap the front real quick. So, secret shout out while Sofian's in the uh, bathroom at the gas station and uh, the other guys are over at Wendy's getting some food. Uh, I just want to say thanks around, around which they're putting up to me. And if this time. would sh this nice person would be quiet, uh, just thank you guys. Uh, when you post this, hopefully you can see this, uh, or when you're editing at Sofian, I guess. Uh, it was a lot of work dealing with my, my OCD button, making sure everything was perfect, uh, including the hour-long process of loading the car into the trailer in 100 degrees sweltering heat. Thanks guys, see you later.